Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla loses direct sales lawsuit that aimed to fight stressful car buying. Tesla FSD Beta 11.4.4 starts rolling out to testers. Tesla patents a new steer-by-wire system. And Tesla updates Model X with new headlights. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla had its lawsuit against the state of Louisiana that aimed to enable direct sales of vehicles thrown out by a federal court late last week in an effort to fight stressful car buying. Tesla has operated with a direct-to-consumer sales model, which fixes prices on vehicles unless the automaker adjusts them. It eliminates the process of bargaining with salespeople at dealerships and gives every buyer the same price, getting rid of what most consumers say is one of the most stressful parts of car buying. In numerous states, Tesla is allowed to operate this model, although legacy automakers have fought against the company's ability to do so because they have argued it harms consumers by limiting competition. Tesla decided to sue the state last year, as its Motor Vehicle Commission was attempting to stop Tesla from providing warranty repairs at the New Orleans Service Center. The automaker argued that the limitations against direct sales models effectively shut out of Louisiana, the consumer-centric free market solution that is a more efficient consumer-friendly business model for today's automotive consumer. Tesla was hoping to overturn the state's decision that refused to allow it to sell vehicles directly to customers. A decision was made last week, and it was not in Tesla's favor. On Friday, a federal court threw out Tesla's complaint, bringing an end to this chapter of the company's fight against its sales model in Louisiana. The ruling, seen by Reuters, said, the direct sales ban applies equally to all manufacturers, and Tesla has alleged no facts regarding anti-Tesla animus on the part of the Louisiana legislature. Direct sales bans would affect any company that uses the model to sell vehicles, and most of them are EV makers. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta 11.4.4 starts rolling out to testers. Tesla appears to have started the rollout of FSD beta version 11.4.4. The release notes of the newly released FSD beta update have been shared online. Last week, reports from members of Tesla's FSD beta tester fleet suggested that the electric vehicle maker was ramping the release of version 11.4.3. Amidst reports from users of the Advanced Driver Assist system, CEO Elon Musk noted that FSD beta version 11.4.4 would be rolling out at the end of the week. While FSD beta version 11.4.4 seems to be a point release from version 11.4.3, the update came with different release notes. A number of interesting behaviors were highlighted in the version 11.4.4 release notes, such as improvements in short deadline lane changes, as well as improved handling of oncoming cars on narrow unmarked roads. The progress of Tesla's FSD beta fleet has been substantial. Since launching in October 2020, the company's testers have accumulated over 150 million miles of real-world driving as of the release of Tesla's Q1 2023 update letter. With an ever-growing tester fleet, the cumulative miles of the FSD beta program would likely see an even more substantial rise in the coming months. Moving to the next update, Tesla patents a new steer-by-wire system. Tesla has filed for a patent on a new steer-by-wire system. We previously reported that Tesla is building a team to bring steer-by-wire technology to its electric vehicles. A steer-by-wire system eliminates the use of mechanical linkages in a steering system, and instead, it only relies on electrical or electromechanical systems for steering. It has the potential to be more efficient, offer better steering configurations, and open up the vehicle's cockpit to different designs. However, many markets still require mechanical linkages in steering systems in order for a vehicle to be road legal. Tesla, like many automakers, has already implemented motors and actuators for drive controls in order to implement its assisted driving features under autopilot and full self-driving, but it still has a mechanical link to its steering system. 
In 2020, Electrek reported that Tesla is building a new team in Austin with the goal of developing a new steer-by-wire system. A year later, CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla is indeed working on steer-by-wire progressive steering, but it's still years away. Now we learn that Tesla has filed for a patent for a new steer-by-wire system. In the disclosure, Tesla claims that its design allows for redundancy without having a mechanical steering system as a backup. We like that Tesla is moving forward with this. It seems like a natural progression for vehicles. We know that some people are worried about hacking vehicles, but we don't think steer-by-wire accentuates those concerns, considering, if you can hack a vehicle that has actuators to control steering, you could have just as much damage as with a vehicle with steer-by-wire. Therefore, yes, we should be concerned about hacking vehicles, but it should be a blanket concern for virtually all new vehicles, other than maybe a new Lada. As for Tesla's use of the technology, we are sure they are thinking of some advantages with self-driving, but it can also be useful for human driving, especially when it comes to tuning the steering for its yoke steering wheel. Moving to the last update, Tesla updates Model X with new headlights. Tesla has finally updated the Model X to add new LED headlights. The update to the Model X comes more than a year after the automaker made the same update to the Model S, bringing all Tesla vehicles up to date with the new headlight technology. According to a note sent to employees last week, a copy of which Drive Tesla was able to obtain, the automaker refers to these as global headlamps, saying this final transition is part of the company's strategy to have one lamp for all markets. While the note doesn't go into the technical specifications of the new headlights, it does say, the lights are controlled by software, which allows them to project different lighting patterns, based on the requirements for whatever region the vehicle is located in. The changeover at the Fremont production lines has already taken place, with photos of a Model X in Toronto, with the new headlights shared on Twitter. As you can see here, the new headlights are visibly different from the previous generation, with two distinct bulbs in the housing. Tesla's latest headlights have often been referred to matrix LED headlights, including by us, but Tesla has never referred to them as such internally. While the headlights appear to have the technology to provide true matrix LED lighting, that feature isn't enabled on any Tesla vehicles, something we were expecting they would do after they were first introduced in the Model 3. True Matrix LED headlights can shut off individual parts of their beam, thereby illuminating the maximum amount of the road, while other parts are darkened to avoid blinding oncoming drivers. As mentioned in the internal note here, Tesla is altering the beam to meet regional requirements, but for whatever reason, isn't enabling True Matrix LED behavior in their global headlamps. Maybe that feature will come with the Model 3 refresh, known as Project Highland, which will come with an updated headlight design. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.